Yo, 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 what's going on, everyone? This is Delones from the SOCOM community coming at you live today for a brand new video on how to get the brand new SOCOM 2 online custom server up and running on your setup. This video is going to cover both setup for PC and for PS2. This video will also cover some of the common issues that may crop up when trying to set this up. Some errors that you may receive, DNAS errors, all that. We're going to cover all that, we're going to apply some fixes, and we're going to get everyone set up here. All right? Now, if you're on PCSX2, this video is assuming that you've already gone and watched Sharp 05's amazing SOCOM 2020 SVDL online setup. This is a video I first watched to get set up. It is clear cut, it is straightforward. He does an amazing job providing links to the files that you're going to need down low in the description here, as well as a clear and concise way of setting everything up properly. So if you're on PCSX2, you're going to need to watch this video before you continue watching this one. So when you get that all set up, come on back. And assuming you've already done so, let's go ahead and get started here. First thing we're going to do, I'm going to cover setup for the emulator boys, and then I'm going to cover PS2 setup. So emulator guys, you're going to want to go ahead Open up PCSX2. Once you got that bad boy open, you're going to want to navigate over to Config, Dev9, Plugin Settings. Now, you should see these two buttons here called Options. If you're not seeing these buttons, that means you have the incorrect Dev9 plugin loaded. Don't worry, we got a fix for that. In the description below, I have a download link for the correct CLR underscore Dev9 plugin. So go ahead and download that. When you get that downloaded, you're going to navigate to your PCSX2 folder. You're going to go to the plugins folder, and you're going to drag in that new downloaded file into this plugin folder. Once you have that in there, you're going to want to go back into PCSX2. You're going to navigate over to config, plugin slash bios selector plugins, dev9, and choose the correct dev9 plugin. Should be CLR dev9 0.8.9. Click apply. Click OK. Awesome. Now, if you're not seeing the correct dev9 plugin on the plugins page, it just means you need to reset your PCSX2. Go ahead and do it again. Get that all set up. Great. Now, we're going to head back to Dev9, Plugin Settings. We're going to click Options next to Enable Ethernet. Two things to remember. If you're on Ethernet, you're going to want to choose when PCAP switched promiscuous. This is for everyone running Ethernet. And then go down to Adapter, choose your Ethernet adapter, in which case mine is Ethernet 2. Click Apply. That would be set up for Ethernet. Now, if you're Wi-Fi, you're going to want to change the top drop down to sockets. And then your adapter will be your Wi Fi adapter. You won't see a Wi Fi adapter on my PC because I actually do not have Wi Fi on this PC. So normally you will see a Wi Fi adapter here. Go ahead and select that. Then go ahead and choose apply when it's all set. Now, for people not seeing the Win PCAP switch promiscuous option or WinSock, it means that you don't have NP cap downloaded. But don't worry, got a link for that in the description. Go ahead and head down to that. What it's going to do is it's going to take you to OneUp's website, which at the top will look like this. You're going to want to scroll all the way down to getting started, and you'll see NP cap right there. Go ahead, download that file, install it, leave everything set to default, and once you got it installed, you're going to need to restart your PC. Go ahead and do that. Boot back up. Open PCSX2 back up. Click on options again, and you should see these WinPCAP or WinSock options. All right, great. Now that you got this all set up, let's move on to the next step. The next step here is downloading Harry's awesome new R0006V001 patch. This patch enables the custom online server to be visible to your game. Let's go ahead and download that. 
Make sure you got it all set up. Move it to whatever folder you'd like. I usually keep it in the same SOCOM folder here with my other patches. You're going to go to System, Run Elf. Choose the Elf, Launch. The game will then boot up. So I'm going to go ahead and just fast forward through this part till we're at the main menu. All right, now we're at the main menu. I'm gonna go down at the very bottom of the screen. It should say SOCOM 2 R0006. If it says nothing down there, or R0001, that means you didn't correctly load the ELF file. So make sure you load the ELF file like I just showed. And you're gonna click on online, and the network config page, you're gonna see the Xlink config. Totally fine. Click login. Going to connect here. And boom, there it is. The brand new custom server. Awesome. Now, if you followed everything I just listed before in the video for emulator guys, and you're still getting a Danas error 611 to NAS error dash 612 or potentially even dash 613. There could be an issue with the actual ISO that you're loading the game from. There was a version of the game floating around the internet that had been trimmed down in order to set up for SVDL, LAN play. It was a smaller file size than the actual full ISO of SOCOM 2. I've got an actual full link in the description below, so go ahead and navigate to that and download that ISO instead. Once you have the ISO downloaded, you're going to want to extract it. Extract the ISO, navigate to PCSX2, you're going to want to navigate to CDVD, ISO selector, browse, and choose the correct ISO that you just downloaded and extracted. If it says swap disk, go ahead and swap disk. Great, now you've got it loaded. Go ahead and run the ELF again, R006. Boot up to the main menu, click online, click Xlink config, and it should give you no more errors and should be able to connect right to the server. If that's the case, great, you made it. You're online SOCOM 2 again. And that's just for the emulator guys. So why don't we go ahead and cover the PS2 guys real quick. For PS2 guys, you're gonna have to use Harry's R006 file again. You're gonna download that, put it on your flash drive, load up free McBoot on your PS2, turn on the PS2, have the disc tray open, should launch you launch elf. You're gonna wanna navigate to your USB, click on mass, and then click on the r0006v001.elf file, launch it, and close the disk tray. Should be set. It will launch the game, take you to the main menu, and this is where we need to find out if you've correctly loaded the patch or not. At the bottom of the SOCOM2 main menu, if it says anything other than r0006, then it did not properly load the patch. Now, if it says R0004 at the bottom, that means you actually have an old SOCOM2 save file with the previous most recent online patch before the servers went down in 2013. With this on your memory card, it's gonna mess you up every time and give you errors. So you need to go ahead and delete that save file for SOCOM off of your memory card. Go ahead and launch you launch elf again once that's done launch the patch, get back to the main menu. If you're at the main menu, you should now be seeing R0006 at the bottom. Great, click online. Once you click online, go ahead and make a new network configuration. Scroll to the bottom of the screen, click edit network configuration. You're gonna to wanna to make a new network config with everything set to auto. 
Once you made that, go ahead and use it and click connect to online. It will run through the DNAS sweeps. And if everything goes well, you should make it on without any problem and locate that server. Now, if you're still getting errors after that, it could be a couple of things here. One, you could accidentally have SVDL open on your PC. If that's the case, go ahead and close that out because sometimes that will cause issues and will not allow PS2 players to connect to the online server. So make sure that is closed. If you're still getting either a network cable disconnected error or potentially even a dash 611, dash 612, or dash 613 DNAS error, and you made sure that you followed everything I mentioned before, go ahead and run it again and give it another shot and see if it connects. Some people have been having issues where it doesn't connect right away and it takes them two or three tries to get online. But once they connect, it's smooth sailing from there. All right. So that's pretty much going to cover everything, guys, for setting up the PS2 and the emulator so you can connect to the new online server on Silcom 2. If you're still having issues after this, which can happen, no problem. Connect to our SOCOM community discord. Find me on the right in the moderator section. Go ahead and send me a PM and I will help you set up no problem. More than happy to get you guys set up. It's great getting everyone back on the game. The population is growing. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell all those people you met online so many years ago. It's back, baby. We are back. Now it's time to get the server extra populated and get going. All right? So you guys take it easy. Have a great day and happy fragging.